Now, there are a couple of things of note here uh, that I discovered uh, in most games. You'll notice that this looks really ugly. It's not this ugly in game. If I uh, if I go to render by hitting F9, you'll notice it's a lot less ugly. Uh, in fact, most of the games will even be this uh, this part here, which looks really askew, is actually not that way in the game. Uh, if you want, and and if you find that it is, I will actually show you now how to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we've got our parts selected. We're going to come down to the very first UVW mapping, which of course is our left side over here if you remember from the previous part. Now, we'll pull this down and we'll go unwrap UVW. So we've actually unwrapped it. Now click on edit and this brings this up. Now what you do is you right, uh, you drag it in and zoom in a bit. Now, you'll notice that if you zoom really close, you're gonna, you're gonna find out why it's ugly. You'll notice that right here is this light blue, up here is a bit darker blue. And that's where that darker blue is coming from. So what you've actually got to do, oops, back up here, Lynn, what you've actually got to do is pull. Let's uh, let's select a bunch of these vertices. Okay, right right click. Okay. Select move. Okay. Just select these bunch of vertices right here and move them down a bit, so that every single one of those vertices is inside the light blue. Now you might have to zoom in a bit to do this, but that's basically what you're doing. See now the, all those vertices are inside. Now we'll move it over here. We'll select these three vertices. Pull it down. Don't pull it down past the other one. Just pull it down so that they're all inside the light blue. We're going to do one more set and then I'll, I'll show you the result uh, in, the, uh, in the model itself. So pull this down and pull these ones down a little bit. Okay, so that's good for now. Now you'll notice right here is where we were fixing and now it's actually fixed. And you can do that through around the entire model. Now remembering of course that all we did was fix the left side. We did not fix the right side. And uh, just one more time to show you again. Um, if you hit to F9 to render, it's not quite as ugly there. So you got to kind of remember that and decide for yourself. Now the other, uh, the other issue as well is in the game, uh, I found in some games uh, even though it looked rather ugly in here, and even a little bit ugly in the render, uh, in the game itself, it wasn't quite as ugly. Uh, so that's about it, uh, other than uh, remembering that you got to do all your parts. Uh, actually, there are probably a couple of tips I should give you when you're doing UVW map. And first, and mo probably the single most important tip, is to finish the entire mesh of your model before you start skinning. That includes if you're doing wheel wells, uh, make sure they're carved out, uh, if you're doing uh, landing gear doors that are in place, or any kind of mesh work. It is a lot easier to do your skin after the entire mesh is done instead of trying to edit it later. Uh, the, uh, the, the other tip I think to use is uh, when you select your polygons, uh, for example, if I go down here and select face, make absolutely sure, because once again it'll make your life a lot easier, that you don't have any stray polygons on this side. Uh, make sure that only the polygons that you want. Now in our case here we kind of do. Um, we actually have these here. In actual fact I could probably uh, unselect these, because these are not going to be displayed anyway. Um, actually I'm going to back up here. Uh, I'm going to show you one other tip which is very important. Uh, actually, you'll notice we've got these polygons selected and I've got ignore back facing unclicked. If I go to try to unselect, I click there and nothing happened. Why? If I turn around here, you'll notice now that I've unselected these ones. And that's simply because uh, ignore back facing was actually turned off. If you turn it on, you will only select polygons that are in that are facing you, so it's a lot easier to do. Uh, so if you start selecting polygons and nothing happens, it probably means that you're selecting the one on the back face instead of the one on the front face, which is more than likely not what you want to do. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it for this tutorial. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, you, you guys probably know my address, you can get a hold of me. Uh, so have a nice day.